We're very excited to talk about MISA, which stands for Mass Spectrometric Immunoassay. It is a workflow for large molecule bioanalysis that can be done across any industry or application. It's broken up into two key parts. The first is affinity purification, where we're using microcolumns that are embedded in a functional pipette tip. And then the second part is after you have samples purified, is that you're using those purified samples for mass spectrometry. All of our technology is embedded into this micro column. And what it is, is a fused silica, and we're able to immobilize affinity ligands to that surface. Because it's extremely porous, you can flow analyte up and down, no problem, really easy, no back pressure build. It also drives the kinetics, so you're increasing those molecular interactions, which means you're going to have faster reactions. And it's a really nice inert material, so you're not getting any sample or matrix loss or carryover into your um, downstream analysis. Also, because it's a, it's a micro column format and you're able to move liquid up and down, there's no uh, sample volume requirement. So you can do a small amount of sample, you could do 25 mils of sample. It's all about you know, what the concentration is of your target analyte. Because we have this in a convenient uh, tip format, if you're just getting started and you're trying to do some exploratory work or you're just looking at a few samples, you can use our Novasi pipette. It can do up to uh, 12 samples simultaneously. Once you're ready for a high throughput methodology and you want to look at a lot of samples at once, you can do um, 96 sample format in our Verset automated liquid handler. Really easy to use, compact bench space, and good software to do your MISA experiment. We have several several workflows that are available for MISA. Right now, here at ASMS, we're really focusing on two key ones. The first is a MISA workflow for insulin analogs. What we've done is we've taken a anti-insulin antibody, immobilized it to the microcolumn surface, and this antibody um, recognizes the epitope that's common among all of the different insulin variants. So when you're doing purification, you're going to be able to pull out all the different variants out of your sample. And then from there, we're ready for mass spec analysis. We're doing intact analysis on the Q-Exactive. And we've been able to demonstrate that our assay is reproducible. So we're looking at really low CVs, less than 3%. It's linear over a wide dynamic range. And the other thing is that because we're using the Q-Exactive, we can really take advantage of the mass spec sensitivity. And we're getting down to picomolar levels of insulin variants. The other application that we have is a really exciting workflow. It's a MISA workflow for therapeutic antibodies. So therapeutic antibodies are really becoming you know, key drug molecules in the pharmaceutical industry, and we need a way to be able to analyze them, purify them, characterize them, the whole thing. So MISA workflows are really applicable for that. Here we're using streptavidin, which is immobilized to the microcolumn surface, and then using biotinylated affinity ligands to pull out those therapeutic antibodies. So rather than using a anti-drug antibody, which you know it can be very complicated, you have to engineer it, we're taking advantage of the interaction between the therapeutic antibody and its target analyte, which is a, a protein. So by using a biotinylated protein, we can put that on our streptavidin service and then pull out therapeutic antibodies, and then they're purified samples ready for downstream mass spec analysis on the Q-Exactive. And we've been able to do this looking at um, a bottom-up approach, looking at peptides, looking at the reduced form, so light and heavy chains, and also intact analysis. To learn more about MISA workflows, you can go to thermoscientific.com backslash MISA, M-S-I-A, where you can learn more about our applications, our workflows, and also contact us directly to see how we can help you doing MISA in your lab.